Hello everyone and welcome back to SimCity. So today I'm doing a new uh, request city. This is uh, this is a request from El Weiwei. I uh, hope I pronounced that right. But um, he's given me an interesting request. He's told me to build a city that's um, it's uh, only tiny islands uh, on a large map with the smallest island being 5 by 5 tiles, so it's just a square, the biggest being 15 by 15 which, again, isn't very big when you consider that like a hospital is 3 by 3 and, um, like, the haunted house is 5 by 5 etc. So, yeah, 15 by 15 is uh, not very big at all, so presumably it's going to be a lot of islands. Um, right, so he wants me to start in the year 2000 on a large map, um, didn't specify terrain or building style, but I'm going to go with the nice looking green terrain. Um, go with these trees because I think they'll just look the best. Go with the um, European building style. And he said, don't use the mass transit system. So obviously we're not going to have enough room for rail anyway. Um, but don't use subways, which is going to be interesting. But then again, I don't think we're going to need it because the islands are so small. Um, not allowed any neighbour deals, so I'm going to have to generate all my own power and water and dispose of my own garbage. Not too big of a deal. Um, given the size of the islands, unless I kind of do like island connections, I'm probably going to end up with a lot of windmills. Um, he says try to build all the business deals and he's given me my own choice for the city name. So an interesting request. As for the city name, um, I can't think of one right now. So it's Kind of like a, well, it's a collection of islands. Um, I could just name it after him and call it like the Weiwei Islands, I don't know. I'll, I'll just do it. It shall be called Weiwei... Yeah, it's just going to be called Weiwei. And that way it kind of sounds like it could be a Pacific Island of some sort or something. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's go, because I think that's everything. Now, I'm obviously going to need... The main important thing is obviously getting all the terrain. Because I'm going to need... It obviously to be a load of islands. And I want it to be flat and I don't really want trees. Right. So, obviously... The first thing I'm going to do is make it entirely water. Like so. So there is no land in the entire map at all. At this precise moment. And then the next thing I want to do... I can't actually zoom in. That's a bit, oh, I can. Next thing I want to do is... Uh, generate some islands. some very deep water. I don't know why it was taking so long there, but... Right. Get there eventually. So, he said the biggest is 15 by 15, and the smallest is 5 by 5. And so I don't know if he wanted it to be like, one island was 15 by 15, or several big islands and then lots of little islands, but this is going to take a while to actually generate. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, by, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 11 by 11. So I'm going to make this 15 by 15. You can see just how small these islands actually are. Uh, 
I mean, that's 15 by 15. That's the, that's the biggest island I'm allowed. And if you look at the entire map... Well... I mean, we're going to have a lot of islands. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Okay, um... They don't have to be evenly distributed, of course. It does require a lot of raising of the terrain, of course. Annoyingly. So I'll put an another relatively large island over here. Uh... So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7 by... So that's 7 by 7. And then uh, just put another one over here. I don't know why the water's so deep. Yep, so that's 7 by 7. That's fine. And then another one over here. This is going to take a very long time. So bear with me. Right, one has to be a bit smaller actually. Right, that can be... I kind of wanted it to be 5x5, five five, but it ended up being 6x6, six six, so that's okay. Right. It's an incredibly large map. Oh dear. This is going to take ages. It's going to take an absolute age. I might cancel the recording and then come back once I've done all the terrain. Because that way you don't have to just see me literally level all over the terrain here and there. Which is obviously going to take a very long time. Uh, so I'm going to do just that, actually. So I'll see you back once the terrain has actually been uh, properly made. Okay, we're back. So you're probably looking at the terrain thinking, obviously it's changed. Um, I haven't actually filled in the entire map with islands. I've done about a third or a quarter of it. Um... Basically, I got bored and thought I kind of want to start building my city. Uh, but as you can see, it is just a collection of very square islands, uh, with the biggest one being this one, which is 15 by 15. And the smallest is... Uh, well, actually, that's not a complete island. I just realised I'll need to um, level that out. Can do that later. But the smallest is actually, I think, 5 by 5. Yeah, it's this one. Uh, and then the rest of them are kind of 7x7, 10x10, something like that. Now... This is a very weird request. Um, going back to the demands, or the requirements rather. No parks, except for marinas. And obviously this is an ideal map for marinas, because I can just put them all over the place, and because they're so close to the terrain, because it's an island, uh, land values should be very high. Uh, except for the fact that I'm not going to really have any... Well, I'm not going to have any parks or zoos. But it says try to build all public services, like schools, hospitals, colleges, and rewards. Try to build all the business deals. I don't know how I'm going to do that, because obviously they took up space. And because of the way that I've put the islands, this wasn't 
really deliberate, but it just kind of just happened. Bridging between islands is going to be very difficult, so each island is basically going to be an independent sort of... Well, not state or city, but... It is pretty much an independent. Um, at the moment, this is looking like the capital. Once I've got enough money, I will start building some more islands. I'm not just going to keep all the rest of this as sea. I basically just got bored. Um, yeah, try to try to build all the business deals. You're not allowed any neighbor deals. Only build marinas. No parks. No public transport, like trains or subways. And start in the year 2000, which we are doing. Um, yeah. How on earth am I going to do this? Okay, first things first. I've already raised the budgets to maximum. Uh, and I've raised the taxes to maximum. That it'll, that's acceptable without it complaining. Uh, hmm. It's not going to be easy, this. I think if it'll let me, which it doesn't, I was going to enact the shuttle service, but it's not there at the moment. Um, let's legalise gambling, pot and parking fines, pot and farmer's market, industrial blah blah blah, blue fee, tyre recycling, industrial west. Just basically all the ones that are good and give money, and legalise gambling because it gives money. Uh, and that's it. For now. Obviously I'm going to do more later. Right, so, you can see how little space I've got to work with. It's pretty crazy. And I'm not really giving any thought to this. I'm tempted to build dents, but that might kind of defeat the whole purpose of it being like an island. Because if it's an island, it should really be light. But then if I build dents, I can put more people on in a very small space. I don't know. I'll just go with light for now. Uh, a bit of commercial. I fucked this up. That shouldn't be there. The road should be there. Oops! And obviously we're going to need some sort of power, so we'll just go with windmills because it's such a tiny island. Uh, water... Can I have pumping stations or do I need... or is that... It is salt water. Okay, um... We'll just go with the water tower in that case, because desalination plant, I think, is going to be overkill, given the size of the island. Um, I'm going to need police and fire, obviously, but I'm going to put that in later, once I've got a bit more money. Uh, poor transportation to other zones might be an issue, but then again, the zones are going to be right next to each other, so it might not actually be that bad. Um... We shall see. I honestly have no idea how this is going to play out. And already I've basically built up one island. And it's the biggest island allowed. That is pretty ridiculous. So obviously everywhere is watered and it's starting to develop. Not a lot of demand for stuff. Stuff is developing just very slowly. Uh, I'm not allowed any parks, but I am allowed marinas.
And we've already hit power capacity. So we're gonna need another windmill and may as well build two while I'm at it. We're okay for water. Not being allowed neighbour connections is going to be interesting because it means obviously I've got to generate all my water and all my power myself. Uh, that isn't so much of a deal, a big deal. Um, that said, hmm, why is there no demand for stuff? Right, I don't want to be wasteful with my rodents, obviously. Uh, there's just basically no demand for stuff, and um, stuff's just abandoning because... Yeah, why not? We may as well. It's a good thing I didn't zone for dense. Because, uh, obviously, if I zone for dense and there's no demand, nothing would develop. some ordinances. Uh, right, that's all developed, but there is like no demand for anything. Which... Slight demand for residential. Uh, except how the hell am I going to build anything on this? That was literally the biggest island. And it's tiny. Well. That's seven. That's seven. That's nine. That's eleven. I'll go with this one then. In fact, I just realised. I think I can get away with... ...that. I think they will develop. I can't be sure, but I think they will. Tower there. It looks absolutely ridiculous. This this isn't a city. It's just well, it's a collection of islands that's absolutely ridiculous.
On the plus side, I'm making nice money because we've got no services. This just isn't going to work. And everyone's abandoning because of lack of demand. There's no demand for anything. Absolutely no demand for anything. Why? It can't... Right, well, it's definitely not because of police or fire or... Um, schools, hospitals, because Pelutio did work. It could be lack of parks, but that seems a bit unlikely. There is a tiny demand for stuff. Just very limited, and it did specifically say I'm not allowed parks. So... What am I meant to do? Maybe we need to build a school. Can barely afford it, that's another thing. just abandoning and I'm not allowed I'm not allowed neighbor deals so I can't ooh I'm okay for now but later on I'm going to need some kind of landfill There is a bit of a demand for residential. I think it's just going to be a very, very slow city. It's going to be very difficult, but I think it can actually work in theory. It's just going to be very, very strange. I thought land value would be high because marinas and being close to the sea, but then again they're also close to industry, so... And they don't have any schools or hospitals either, so that's a bit of a concern. Right, what's the most important thing? Would it be a school, a hospital, police or fire? I mean, obviously we need all of them, but... I'm going to give them... Hmm. We don't have the money for all of them. Right, well, they definitely need... Each island's going to need 
Probably. Each island is going to need probably its own police and fire. But not every island needs its own hospital and school because they work city-wide rather than like covering an area. Um, so for now, I'm actually just going to put a police station down there and a fire station down there. And obviously that's going to cover the whole island. And it actually covers these islands as well. Sort of. I'm actually going to need a fire station on that island as well. Um, yeah. That's now out of date. And that's obviously taking a massive bite out of the budget, which is massively annoying, but what can you do? That is a tiny, tiny island. But what can you do? Uh, right, we need garbage. So, this island can be like garbage island. Hopefully this will work. They're just gonna have to kind of all the garbage from this island is going to have to get to this island by sea, or magic, or something. And put some unfortunate looking... Put some uh, sorry residents down here. Uh, give it its own water tower. Its own... Um, windmills. A few commercials. Need access to city landfill. No, they don't, because it's starting to fill up. And garbage capacity, good. Yeah, so, if you live on an island, not this island, then you just get there by magic. And they're complaining about poor transportation because they need some kind of industry. I'm thinking I should have put some kind of like incinerator there rather than landfill. That might have actually made the garbage capacity better for that island. Well, it might have made like the poor transportation a bit of an issue. Or less of an issue rather. Actually that said now that they've put some industry down, they're okay, so. Eh low land value. Um, right, budget is still obviously tiny. That said, we only have 5,000 people in the entire city, if you can really call it that. I haven't even been given the mayor's house yet. Or the haunted house. Right, uh, this is actually... Six. It's six for six. Um, so whichever way I put this road is not going to be symmetrical. I'm probably overdoing it. Ah, there we go. New home for mayor. I'm probably overdoing it on the um, amount of windmills, but I can always change that later on. 
Right, there's no demand. Ah, uh, slight demand for commercial industrial. No way is this city, unless I just build a huge number of islands, ever going to get above... I'd say if we can get 100,000 people, that'd be good. But I honestly can't really see it being much more than that, unless I just start building some dents. Uh, I still need schools and hospitals and colleges. I think it's about time we built a school. Right, let's put the school down there. And the hospital can go... completely wrecked the budget, but that said, it did say try and build as many business deals as possible. Uh, oh dear. Right, we're okay now. Good to know that one water tower is enough for this... Um, this island. Right, I've been offered the haunted house. Fuck knows where I'm going to put it because it's five to five. Um, can we not enact some more ordinances? Right, put that on. That. Don't know what this is going to do for my budget, but. Oh well. Figure that out later. Don't really need them because we don't have any traffic. Okay. Somehow that's destroyed my budget. Well, that's not good. Um, right, so we're going to have to build more. Well, shit. <laughs> and I slightly messed this up. Save the game. Don't need water pipes, that island's so small. Right, yeah, I'm aware that there's very poor police coverage. Uh, it's actually... Well... Take a look at it, not that we can afford to do anything about it. Yeah. Nope. Go away. Pollution... There is some pollution, but she's saying it's low, and it kind of is low, to be fair. There's like, there's not really anything I can do about that. Because we've enacted all the ordinances and we're using wind power which generates no pollution, so... There's basically nothing I can do. I mean, I could build, um, water treatment, but... I'd have to kind of... Well, there's absolutely no way that I can build a pipe to connect these islands. 
So I'd have to build like some kind of water treatment plant on every island. Uh, and that's obviously never going to happen. Ooh. A clean industry. That's good. And garbage is fine. For now. Shit, that went badly. Right, that's cost me a lot of money. Um, hopefully it'll offer me a business deal soon. Otherwise, my budget is not looking so healthy. Apparently I'm making a sm No. That's wrong because I'm actually making a small loss. And now I'm making a very, very small profit. The absolute smallest profit you could be making and still be making a profit. I mean obviously that'd be one dollar, but one simulane. Fifty simulanes. Yeah. Right, the problem is, we've got big residential demand, but not any other demand, so I'm actually going to make this... Whoops. Uh, dense. Yep. And hopefully it will be off offer me the business deals. Land value medium. That's alright. And conveniently, that means that all my money has now gone. And I've been offered this. Uh, it's actually ideal. Um, right, so... This island... can be the... prison island. Uh, ooh, we've been off a casino. Uh, no other things. Right, put the casino down. The thing is, is... Damn, if that was one thing bigger. They have to be powered and watered, but you don't actually have to give them road access. Right, that can be like an actual island, to be fair. Um, if I take out a loan of 5,000, then I can give these things, like... Um power and water, and that way, uh, they'll make the money and we can afford to pay off the loan, and everything will be fine. Right, I'm going to need to make this a bit bigger because... Uh, don't have the money for that. Well, damn. Right, that island is no longer square. I shall fix that later. I want the island to be square. 
don't actually need all those water pipes, but whatever. Now, that should be giving me money. Uh, it isn't. No access to city. Oh, crap. So this means that this this means that the maximum prison, maximum security prison island, won't really work. The casino will work. Shit, I'm losing money. Okay. Right, gig has been proposed. Take out more loan. Build the Gigamall there. Build some residential and some commercial. And then they'll start giving me money. Industrial. And that'll easily pay off the loan. And fix my at the moment, pretty shitty budgets, in theory. Why is that not powered? Oh crap. Alright, okay, now. These use up a lot of electricity in that case. Why is that not watered? Because that's reach capacity. Yeah, so these business deals use up a lot of power and water, it would seem. Oh, that's now fine. That's now fine. They're fine. Now the budget is actually decent. Right, so my... This isn't going to work. Uh, that's annoying. Right, so it's six for seven. It's not perfectly square, but it'll do. The main thing is I'm making decent cash now. Uh, but there's no demand for anything, which is annoying. The Gugamore has completely destroyed the commercial demand. Slight industrial and slight residential demand. That's now disappeared. Um, right. I think since we've got the money, we might as well try and build the services. Oh, actually, we need to build the haunted house. Uh, uh, well, it has to go there or there. Um, this island is basically useless at the moment, and I can't afford to level it, so... It's going to stay completely useless. This isn't going well. I actually missed a spot there. Yeah, this isn't going so well. Um, but let's remain positive for the time being. Something I don't normally do, but... Right, police station... That's... Actually not that good. It doesn't cover there or there. Okay, so I'm gonna need one about on that island. Uh, also known as Garbage Island. Which is itself sort of a Simpsons reference. And that actually covers that island. And part of that island. Since the commercial is just abandoned anyway, may as well 
build a police station there in its place. And now I need one on that island. Gonna need one on that island and hopefully not one on that island, but I don't know. In fact, I just realised. If I relocate that... It... Does it cover... It covers a bit of those islands. Uh, that's the island that's completely useless. I think that island's covered, so... Yeah, I mean, it's not going great, but... It could be worse. I think those business deals have slightly screwed me over because now there's just no commercial demand. Sims can't get to work, that's now out of date. Big industry demand. But there's no residential demand. Well, that's no good. Sims can't get to work because disappeared, no traffic problems. Uh, Yes, I'm going to need a police thing on here. I have realised. Also, there's no fire protection for most of the city, which is a bit concerning. Right. I am going to need police station there, but otherwise that's the entire city protected. Uh, let's put a fire station there. It's it's a bit patchy, but obviously that's due to the nature of the islands. So I think it's actually okay. It's about as good as it's going to get, really. I've, still, I've just realised, obviously, schools and hospitals are probably not... Oh, they're actually okay. Um, oh, man. Right. Uh, put a fire station down here. Uh, put one here. Another one here. Uh, that island is not covered, I've realised. That island's useless at the moment, so that's okay. That island's a bit wonky. Aura is pretty terrible, apart from if you live on that island. I think that's the oh, that's the island, yeah, because that's got a school, a hospital, a police station, and a fire station. And quite a lot of marinas. Five plants in danger? Which ones? Which one's it talking about? Ooh, that's worrying. And now we're making a loss again because of all this massive um, overspending on police and fire rubbish. So I would say K 
can you give me a business deal, but... I don't really want the toxic waste plant. And the maximum security prison... There's nowhere for it to go except for here, and... I don't know. Maximum security prison would actually be okay. In all seriousness. Big industry demand, so let's make these into dense industries. Figure out which ones are industry. Alright, basically run out of money as well, which is a concern. Someone's left out the oh wow. Yep, they've been left out the rain. Um Cause obviously dense is require more. The hell was that? It sounded like something just exploded. Our plant explodes? Oh shit. Where's that? Uh, where's that happened? These guys don't have any power, which makes me think it's... Yep, it's just here. Crap. Well then, know what I need to do there. Don't need money. Fuck. We're losing a lot of money. Fuck. Can't raise taxes. Can't... Take out a loan. Just got to cut back on these things. As much as we can. Ah, but we... We desperately need that thing, um, power plant. Oh, for fuck's sake, why have they exploded? Explode anything. Right, we're okay for now. This is a disaster. This this city is just not going to work. Right, now we're making money. Good, but the police and fire coverage is not great. I kind of do need a fire station there, to be honest. And um, kind of need one there, but obviously we can't afford it! Right, pushing it as low as it can go, 
without them being complaining of strike. This... Ugh, this just isn't working. There's also no demand for residential at the moment. But at least the budget is good. Somehow. Um... Right, there's a big residential demand at the moment. That's just disappeared. We haven't even reached 10,000 people yet. Land value is actually really good over there, that's interesting. Ah, that's because it's just covered in marinas. Um, pollution's pretty standard. There's no traffic, obviously, because there's no one around, and because there's actually quite a lot of roads. Uh, police and fire, we know the situation. That's pretty goddamn awful. Um, I'm aware, obviously, that's unpowered and unwatered. Ore is pretty damn bad unless you live on this big island. And even then, it's not great. Right, Maric Wave is now available, but it's going to be completely useless. Even. Even solar. Which is incredibly expensive and produces. I guess we could go with gas. But that produces a lot of pollution and is kind of overkill. Because even on this island, where we've only got um, six windmills, which is like a thousand, so we'd be using about a third of a gas power plant. So I think just stick to windmills because they're clean, they're pretty cheap. But as for now, I don't really know what to do. Right, there is a residential demand, so let's actually start developing on this island. say there's a residential demand, it keeps disappearing. There's absolutely no commercial or a tiny bit of industrial demand. Big residential demand. Uh, put water down. Put windmill down. Right, now there's a big industry demand. And there's no residential demand. What the fuck is this? It's just a disaster. How are the schools doing? Obviously they need more money, but... We actually don't need another school. And we don't need another hospital. That is interesting. Right, why is there just no demand for anything? Did we decide that we needed a police station? Yeah, we need a police station on that island. Damn, that's expensive. But if I do that, then everywhere's got fire protection, and everywhere's got police protection. Oh, hello. Uh, 
they've not got power, I'm guessing... Yep, we need another windmill. Crime's basically non-existent unless you live in the centre of the main island, which is just dense industry. Where there's a tiny bit of crime. Or if you live like next to the casino and the um the Gigamall. But even then it's low because this oppressive police. Uh, garage capacity, we are actually going to need some kind of waste to energy incinerator or something. So let's build that here. And I forgot that was expensive. Uh, right. Can I afford to take out like a 15,000 loan? No. Uh, so they're going to have to wait, unfortunately. So that's going to be like Garbage Island 2. Sort of. Because I can't... I mean... I can't obviously build a road to connect to a neighbour to get a trash deal. And I could build a seaport, but I'm not allowed to get any neighbour deals, so the seaport would be pretty pointless. Um. Hmm. There is a big residential demand, and I've just realised we've actually run out of islands. And... What I'm going to do, therefore, is convert the rest of this into dents. And, yeah, we've hit power capacity. Big industrial demand. Huh. Actually, spending all my money on uh, marinas. More parks needed. I'd love to build parks, but a, where would we put them? Because they are three by three, which is normally fine, but in this case, it's very big. B, they cost a thousand each, and we don't have the money. And C, which is the most important, we're not allowed to build parks for some reason. Don't know why, it just was one of the requests. Um, right, land value is still medium. 
think that's just because it's so close to industry, but I don't know. Right, I've got all the uh, all the ordinances that would actually be useful. I do have legalised gambling, but that's just because of money. That said, uh, crime isn't. A power plant just exploded again. Right, it's over here. Why? Did it explode? Because I haven't built anything here in ages, so why is it just exploded now? Kind of doesn't make any sense. I've also forgotten what I was saying. Oh yeah, I've got all the ordinances that obviously are useful. Uh, Legalised gambling does increase crime, but crime is non-existent, so we're fine in that regard. Um, and also, it's required for the casino to operate. But I've noticed the time, and I'm actually going to stop here. Um, and I will continue this at some point. Uh, but for now, that is the end of this video. It's incredibly difficult, this city. It's... It requires a lot of thought. Because money is an issue. Demand is an issue. And trying to provide all the services is an issue. Land values are not high enough in general. So I've got really no idea how I'm going to do this. Um, but anyway, that's the end of this video. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like, uh, share, comment, subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Bye.